when using jwt claims you may be forced to basically go ahead and get the identity of a user and then using that identity to basically query for that specific user in your database but to achieve that in a very easy way flash jwt extended provides for us what is called automatic user loading so with automatic user loading what we have to do is to basically get the jwt and query for the user whose jwt subject is whatever parameter we've provided in there now let's look at what we actually mean here so if i go back to my main.py i can go ahead and define another loader just like we defined these other loaders so what i can do is to go ahead and define that as our user lookup loader so this will allow us to access the currently logged in user or the user who has that specific jwt or the user to whom it belongs so for us to get that we shall basically say we shall call this our load user and what i call is the jwt dot user so this is going to be our user lookup loader and what this function is going to do is to help us be able to query directly from sql alchemy so that we access a specific user object so to do that we shall just basically come right here and say look up or let's actually just call this the user lookup so this is going to be our user lookup callback and this is going to take into things so it will take in the jwt data and it will also take in the basically it will take in the jwt data and it's also going to take in the specific to actually take in the jwt header and the jwt data just like you see right here so shall go ahead and provide this <coughs> excuse me so we shall provide the jwt headers and the jwt data so shall provide the jwt data as well now if we want to access our user all we have to do is to get their identity so the identity is always within the jwt data which is also a dictionary which are the actual claims of the jwt now to access that shall get the identity and that will be our jwt data and in this case we shall get our subject so the sub part of our jwt just like we saw right here if we go back to our who am i endpoint we saw the sub part which is basically the jwt subject now what we are trying to do is to access that specific part once we've been able to access that part then we shall be able to access the user name of the user who has that specific username now all you have to do is to just simply query sql alchemy directly and we shall first of all import our users our user model so i mean say from models we are going to import our user model and then we shall go ahead and query for that specific user and in this case can say user dot query dot filter by so we're going to look for this user with a specific username so we shall say user is going to username is going to be our identity and then we shall basically return dot one or we shall return none in case that user does not exist so using this will allow us to access our user in a very simple way without having to go ahead and query for that specific user and we shall be able to access that when using a specific object that's provided for us now let's look at how we can be able to do that so if we go back to our auth.py we're going to modify our endpoint right here so that it doesn't actually have to use our claims to get the currently logged in user or the user who has that specific jwt or the user who the jwt belongs to so for us to be able to get that we have to import an object from flash jwt extended and that's going to be our current user object so once we have the current user object it's going to be so easy for us to access the user who that token belongs to now for us to be able to do that we shall remove our claims right here and 
once we've been able to do that we shall basically come and basically create our so let's just say this is going to be our user details and what we want to do is to create a dictionary which is going to contain the username of the specific user so that will be our current user dot username and then let's say we may also want to return the email so shall say email is going to be our current user dot email so if i save i'm going to pull up the terminal our server is going to restart so if we go right here and if we try to send we are actually having our token expired so let me go ahead and access a new token i'll copy and then when i try to go to who am i i'll provide a specific token within our authorization right here and then when you try again still i'm getting expired token let me try to create a token If I come back right here, I'll provide the token right here and I'll send. And this will actually return the specific user details of the specific user who has that specific JWT.